right now. All right, we are live on the Creighton Tennis Channel. Uh, welcome back. This is going to be a treat. These guys uh, played a lot of interesting matches, a lot of crazy matches, I remember. And uh, I remember losing about 10 years of my life having a few guys on, on the team. <laughs> but, uh, all good guys, all working hard now. I'm going to introduce you guys and we'll go one at a time here. So I'm going to start at my top left. This is Joe Eckert. He played from 2005 to 2008. You can always stop me if I'm incorrect, but he was our captain in 07 and 08, ended with 60 wins, most improved player in 07 and 08. And uh, Joe, it is your turn. Go ahead. All right. Um, what, do I start with what I'm doing now? You bet. There's no rules right. anymore. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Um, I, uh, yeah, we live, my wife and I, my wife Amy and I and our two kids live in Sioux Falls, South Dakota. Um, we do a variety of things, but among other things, we farm now, which is weird because I didn't, didn't grow up on a farm and didn't, didn't ever in a million years think that that's what I'd be doing, but that's where I am currently. We're trying to get the last few acres planted here, but we had, a uh, a little mishap, so we are we have a repair to do here in a little bit. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, our kids play a lot of soccer. Um, the younger one played Teddy, he's eight. He plays basketball and baseball and all that kind of stuff. But And then Henry mostly plays soccer. Uh, he played basketball for his school this year. He's in eighth grade, which is insane. Uh, he'll be going in to ninth grade, so he'll be a freshman in high school, which – is crazy <laughs> but that's i don't know that's pretty much it good I, and i remember when henry was very little because you you or amy would come over and babysit tj while you were helping me at the country club i think that was one yep. whole summer <laughs> yeah we were going through trying to find photos and stuff like that and going through all of our photos and yeah we have photos of teeny tiny kate running around in the <laughs> creighton tennis cheerleading uniform and that's right Henry probably running on the court during my matches, which is real <laughs> impressive. <laughs> so, All right. Thanks, Joe. While I'm moving down, one on my screen is Richie Gonzalez. He's from Omaha. Played from 2001 to 2005, ended with 75 wins, most improved player in 2003. Captain in 0405. And Missouri Valley Player of the Week one week. I think that was in 2003. How's it going, Richie? Pretty good. Oh, pretty good. Great seeing all you guys. Um, currently, right now, I'm still living in Omaha. Um, I work in a pharmacy at Methodist Hospital right now. Um, assistant director um, is kind of my title right now. Um, I don't uh, have any kids or anything like that yet, but I do have a longtime girlfriend. Uh, we've been going out for uh, almost three and a half years, so the time's coming here pretty soon for me. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now that you just bit, told the whole world. A little bit do, yeah, I know. So um a little surprise for her late when she watches it in the back later. <laughs> we'll see if she watches this. Yeah, she will. <laughs> um other than that, uh haven't really been doing a whole lot of tennis wise. Uh mainly been playing a lot of golf these days and got my handicap down to a four. So tennis skills have transitioned into golf more so these days. So Jeez. yeah. Nice. Thanks. All right. Uh, let's see. Center of my screen now is Tom McCarthy, 2001 to 2005, 108 wins. It's still number nine, top 10 in our uh, charts. Just, was just, just, ha just hanging on. <laughs> <laughs> Barely. 2005 Reinert Scholar Athlete, which uh, is very impressive. Most improved player one year, MVP. And we all know the best part about Tom, his biggest accomplishment was Kim. Marrying Kim. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Go ahead, Tom. So, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm out here in San Diego where Kim's from, and we've been out here over 10 years now. Uh, I'm a hospitalist uh, at a um, hospital in La Jolla. Uh, so basically I'm working, uh, my schedule is a week on, week off. So I get to spend a lot of time with my family. Uh, Kim and I have four kids now. Uh, James is the oldest, he's eight. Uh, Drew six, Adam five, and Caroline finally got the girl. She just turned two. And uh, we recently, before the pandemic, we recently got our kids into tennis, and James was getting pretty good. 
uh, but before uh, all this got shut down. So hopefully we'll get him back out on the court here soon. Great. That's a big family, big happy family. All right, Chris Miller at the bottom, bottom middle on my screen. Uh, 03 to 07, ended with 53 wins. Cosida All-American. I think we only have like three or four of those. That's, that's pretty impressive. Most improved player two years in a row. Go ahead, Chris. Uh, thanks, Tom. It's good to see you guys. Uh, so I live in Charlotte, North Carolina. Uh, we have since really since right after we uh, after I graduated Creighton, I uh, got married to Allison Wilkie, who was Drake tennis player at the time, uh, but also from Omaha. And so we've got two kids. Uh, Leah is nine and Joshua is six and same right before. So we just joined a tennis club trying to get back into it. Um, I had shoulder surgery back in 2008 from those big bombs that I was serving in college. Uh, <laughs> worn out the labrum in my shoulder. And everyone knows here that that's the joke because I didn't hit that hard. But I had a weak labrum and some other stuff in there. And so I didn't play tennis for a long while, but we're trying to get back into it. And uh, thankfully, the kids have uh, their mom's strokes. They have nice, nice, smooth strokes. So they're, they were, you know, same, getting, getting good, doing clinics two times a week. And we were going out and playing. And unfortunately, that slowed down a bit, but we're hoping to get that started up again. Um, so I work at uh, TIAA, uh, or I guess Naveen is the asset manager for TIAA. So Tom, we may manage your uh, retirement funds. I think Creighton ha is, uh, is a participating institution. I don't know if that's accurate. I think it is. But what, the, uh, what they pay me at Creighton, that might be another 50 years. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I, I, I manage a structured finance portfolio for the insurance company. So lending money to different funky stuff like sports stadiums and other kind of structured assets. So uh, a good gig. We enjoy living out here in Charlotte. The weather's great. And that's, that's us. Fantastic. All right. Oh, there he is. <laughs> Top right corner. Eduardo Pignatari came to us from Brazil. Now he lives in Australia, I just found out. 2002 to 2006, 47 wins. Probably all of them were in a third set and just hanging on by a thread <laughs> trying to kill me. Uh, most valuable player in 05, 06. Uh, go ahead, Eduardo. Uh, hi, guys. Um, well, there's been a lot going on with me. Um, I moved to Australia about eight years ago. <laughs> but I took a, a two-year sabbatic after I moved back to Brazil. Uh, I had a, a small business that I started after I finished college. And um, uh, I thought I was going to be the boss. And, and that way we work less and earn more money. And to find out that was completely the opposite. And two years I was completely worn out. So I decided to sell my shares of that company and take a couple of years sabbatic to rethink some things in my life. And that's how I ended up going to Australia. It was supposed to be six months and ended up being, what, eight years now that I've been here. Um, I actually met with Vinny once. He came to Sydney. That was uh, three years ago. Or something. That was a while ago. Now, yeah. Why I stayed in Australia is because my wife, uh, Bianca, decided to stay here. And uh, I sort of fell in love with her. And I thought, you know what? We got to make sacrifices. And, and uh, long story short, now we got, I got a kid with her. Victor is one and a half years old. And she's pregnant again. Hey. Congrats. Congratulations. So now that I'm starting to um, find my sleep pattern again, I got to be ready to lose that. <laughs> uh, I have been playing tennis. Um, a few tournaments last year, but um, in between tennis tournaments, I started doing triathlon, um, which uh, I, I found a new passion for, a new sport. Yeah, which I found to be very expensive as well. Um, you got to buy expensive bikes and gears and all that. But uh, it's, I suppose it's a way for me to meditate and uh, uh, escape from, from the world in, in the same way I did with tennis back in the days. Uh, Work-wise, um, I started, um, when, I, when I moved to Australia, I was backpacking. So I was pretty much trying to find whatever I could. Um, and then... I got myself in the construction industry, which is completely not related to my business degree. 
<laughs> which, um, you know, you got to take what you get. Um, and then I moved up to working as an estimator. For, so now I'm doing costs and budgets for a lot of buildings here in Sydney. Um, and that's, uh, that's about it. So triathlon, a little bit of tennis and starting to grow the family. Yeah. Nice. Great stuff, Eddie. <laughs> and I also, I, I forgot to mention that you, you held the record for the most time showing up late to practice one semester. <laughs> you know what? I still remember the time that, that you made me wake up on Saturday, six in the morning. <laughs> wait. <laughs> uh, until I never showed up late again and it worked because uh, <laughs> I always remember that <laughs> all right last but not least we've got uh, you guys shift around on my computer a little bit I got Vinny Vinny Means here in the middle from Australia played from 02 to 06 92 wins is 16th on our list still most improved player 0304 most valuable player 0304 most inspirational player, 0506. <laughs> and uh, was a Missouri Valley Conference Whoa. Player of the Week player as well. How's it going, Vinny? Yeah, good. Um, hard to follow up after Eddie. So much has happened. <laughs> uh, I'm back, back in Perth. Um, have been since uh, graduated. Um, yeah, not, not a lot has happened. I'm, I think I'm the only one without kids or married or so I'm, I'm getting I'm Richie I'm, I'm getting married in December um, finally so um, and yeah I'm over here working for uh, racing waging WA which is horse racing so I'm a, I'm a handicapper which probably doesn't mean much to to many people but um, even though I've been racing industry in Australia so, um, yeah, it's good. I love it. Um, I don't play tennis anymore. Probably haven't picked up a racket for four or five years, but um, yeah, that's about it. Good. Good stuff. Handicapper. Interesting. Yeah. <laughs> I got to hear more about that later. All right. <laughs> oh, what I'm going to do now, what we uh, do here is I'm going to share the screen. So that you guys can see this, we're going to just go through a few pictures that uh, either I had or you guys sent in. Feel free to comment whenever you want. Some of these will be from back in the day and some of them will be <laughs> your lives now. That's a good hot dog. <laughs> I thought it was the coolest guy ever. <laughs> <laughs> Mike Elson, I got to get him, him on one of these calls too. Yeah, he's unreachable. <laughs> Who said that? You ever seen Joe? <laughs> Do you still see Mike or not? Uh, yeah, we've seen him a few times. Uh, every once in a while, he comes back to Sioux Falls, and then but, uh, he's uh, he's he's an enigma. He's <laughs> oh, and we saw him at uh, Ross's wedding, and he uh -huh. was. Nice. Oh, Ross. <laughs> That's another guy I got to get on here, too. Yeah. Yeah. Ross Allen? He got married. Yeah, that's right. Good for him. He has a kid now. Oh. Wow. Scary right. stuff. <laughs> <laughs> he came to watch us when we played DePaul two years ago in Chicago. There's Eduardo crushing a forehand. <laughs> so this is Chris and his wife, Allison, who played a Drake. We we wanted her to come to Creighton, but she just chose Drake. <laughs> we won't hold that against her. That's right. <laughs> Not anymore. Yeah. These are our kids rocking the Nebraska clothes out in Charlotte. Yeah. <laughs> we won't hold that against them right now. Yeah. Ready to match that forehand. Look at that forehand. <laughs> Great yeah. form, Phil. Yeah. <laughs> yep, get that non-hitting hand out in front there. <laughs> here's what hurt Chris's and shoulder. And the root, here's, here's the, yeah, here's the bombs that coming. <laughs> Pour up that shoulder. That's where the shoulder pops. What grip is he using there? Not the right one. Who's <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> his coach? Guess you can partly blame that on me now. Oh, uh, yeah. There's the soft hands right there. Yeah. Nice little drop shot. This is my crew here. McCarthy. 
McCarthy. Oh, yeah. They're all mini TJ, T, um, <laughs> T-Mac clones. We had, to, we had to keep going until we finally got the girl. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Thank God the fourth one was a girl. I know, right? <laughs> it's still be gone. That's Rotate one thing that never goes away, the slice. I feel like I can still go out there and slice. <laughs> Thank goodness. I think that was your predominant shot. That's right. <laughs> slice of winners. <laughs> There's the McCarthy clan, and Kim was on our call a few days ago. Yeah. For all those yeah, uh, YouTube and Creighton Tennis subscribers. Disneyland before it closed down. This was probably like two or three weeks before. <laughs> You're missing one of the kids. Yeah, I was just about to say. He was, he was out riding roller coasters with my mom. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> only, the little, only the little ones wanted to meet Mickey. He was too big. He's eight. He's like, he's too cool. Yeah. There's Tom and Kim. Oh. <laughs> there's, there's the long hair from back in the day. Oh, yeah, I remember great. that hair. Our players, typically the women's team will ask us if there's ever been another couple that uh, played tennis and, and got married. So we bring you guys up at least once a year, it seems like. I was surprised to hear there wasn't, weren't more. Yeah. So are we. Maybe they see that Gene and I aren't going so well. <laughs> <laughs> They see us argue right in front of them all the time. No. Big, big so there, we got Ben Kopecky and Ross Allen there, Brian Ward, Justin Denny. That's, that's, be, that's, that's Jake Craney. Huh? That's going to be our senior, Richie and that's my Jake senior. Jake Craney. Year, right? Yeah, yeah. Jake. That's Jake. 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 Yeah. Oh, Jake. <laughs> you're right. I was wrong. Jake Craney. Yep. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Man, I'm getting old. Oh, there he is in the back, too. You're right. Yeah. Without it, Coke Tennis. <laughs> Look at Russell Muscle. Russell Muscle. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the mean mug. He's watching this for sure. He's one of the five subscribers. <laughs> one of the five. <laughs> oh, I miss Russell. Oh, there we go. And now we're forehand. talking. The risky forehand. <laughs> with a big gut sticking out the front. <laughs> was that the match against Wichita State when the guy yelled, unbelievable! <laughs> <Remember> that? <laughs> that was against Vinny, I think. Spot. Yeah. Spot, that's right. <laughs> that was a fun match. I don't know who sent this in or what this is all about. I that was this like me. Was there a Twitter, dead person? <laughs> on, on the weekends. Oh, <laughs> oh my was, God. Eddie was Alex for... Brings Wake good memory. <laughs> you didn't like the bed or what? Uh, you know, Sometimes you couldn't make it to the bed. <laughs> on, a, on a Friday night. Oh. It'll, what is it? Kellum? Kellum Knowles or something like that? Kellum Holmes? Yeah. Kellum Heights. Heights. Yeah. This was, is this at right after you guys graduated? This is at. Um, this is my wedding. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. wedding. This is the year after oh, we graduated in okay. Palm Springs. Wasn't it? Yep. Yeah. Very nice. So so Rich, Rich, he got down his full handicap. <laughs> <laughs> Same. That's Palm Springs again at my wedding. Yeah. That's, um, isn't that Shannon's? Yeah, that's Shannon's husband, Justin. Yeah, Justin. Yeah, they Is have two the kids now. Team? Over here, the guy. Yeah. So he play, he's going to play baseball at Creighton. Right? Yes, yeah, that's okay. the Mosley. Yeah. <clears throat> oh yeah. <laughs> Randy, Randy. <laughs> it was my double spot, man. <laughs> was, was he the best number six player you ever had on your on, oh. on your team, Tom? <laughs> uh, no, I had. He was one of the funniest. That's for sure. <laughs> Randy or Evan? <laughs> <laughs> Evan Kimura, I'm the guy. <laughs> Look at Vinny, he made it to the cover. <laughs> Olympic sports media guide, nice. <laughs> Olympic sports. <laughs> Do you have the poster of, the Creighton poster of Eddie that was hung in the library? <laughs> <laughs> What's that? 
Do you remember that? You were on the, you were on like the promotional Creighton poster and it was outside the library. Oh yeah, that's right. I've heard, but they put that on after. Yeah. 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 This guy's been in the library a lot. (laughs) Oh, look at, there's a sweat. Right there. That's his fourth shirt. (laughs) Middle of the first set. (laughs) Warm up still going on. (laughs) Oh yes. <laughs> hey, this, this is the this is the woman, huh, Richie? Yep, um, yep. That's my girlfriend. Married, I suppose. <laughs> Soon to be. These pictures didn't come out the clearest. This is your mother, right? Yep. That's me. Tom. Yep. That's uh, Pat Manning and Jim Manning. Yep. That was the Jim. Was, what was it the 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 scholar Reinhardt or whatever they really called that? Yeah, the the Hall of Fame banquet where you had to give your speech. Yeah, <laughs> I prefer not to think about that. <laughs> <laughs> I was well done. All right, so we're back through there. So now I'm going to go through a few of the matches. I'm sure you guys will remember some of these. If I can click on the right part here. So I've just got a few from different years. This looks like it was at Cedar Falls. Do you guys see that well enough or not? Yeah. Yeah. When did uh, you and I drop their men's team? Um, I believe it was the next year or yeah, maybe two years later. Yeah, it was right about 04. I don't think we have we have applied them. So. Yeah, this because this guy was only there for two or three years and then they dropped the program. Yeah, we had a pretty good team that year. Um, you know, it's pretty good top of the lineup, and then all the freshmen slotting in four, five, six. Big Ollie, number one. Yeah, he was he was a hell of a player. He was, yeah. Pierre, that's right. Pierre, Pierre. Mark was yeah. quite a hothead. <laughs> <laughs> he had his moments. He had some great yeah, matches. Yeah, he did. Yep. I love play. I love playing five. That was great. <laughs> yeah. Five two one over Bradley. Drew Barrett is coaching. I can't remember somewhere on the East Coast now. Davidson. I need five players to win. <laughs> That's all we need. We're, we're just that good. We only have five. That's right. <laughs> I don't think that I had picked up an extra guy yet. This, I, I remember there was a year where we were depleted. I'm not sure if it was this one. That was the that was the next year from there. That that was still there. Our okay. freshman year. This month they're still our freshman year. We played with five guys for about a year, didn't we? <laughs> yeah, that was that was my that was our my Richie and my sophomore year. That five guys plus some mm-hmm. other people. Well, this was yeah, the first win, first win over Southwest Missouri State, who is now Missouri State. We were we were zero and eleven until this match. Wow! Look at that seven six five in the third in the breaker there. How about that? That was probably the clincher right there. Hey, look at that number three doubles team, 8-1. Thanks to Ollie. <laughs> there we go. Is that, is that Pavel Hanek number? Oh, it is, yeah. He was that scary. Was, that was, was a beast good. of a dude. Yeah. Oh, yeah that's he had a massive serve. All right, we'll go to 0 2 3 All right. This is a match in uh, San Francisco where you guys played on the roof. Oh, yeah, I remember parking that. Parking garage or the building? That was cool. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. I think Richie Richie played my my buddy from Perth. Yep. Gora. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's, he's pretty good. This is when this is when Evan was on the on the team. Yeah. He was a good good guy. He was a little out of his league. I'm sure he would admit that too. Yeah. But we had to, we had to have six players. That was a close match, man. Yeah. Yep. This is a lot. This is a match Vinny and it, it, Richie finished about one point before Vinny. Both in the third sets and they both had to win. Was that, yeah. one? that, was, a big, that was a big win. I have yeah, it down. I remember that Rich, one. Richie was down 2-3. No, we were down 2-3 and Richie held off three match points at 3-5 in the third and then again Held off a match point at 5-6, forced the tiebreaker, and won the tiebreaker 7-4. And then, Vinny, I don't know what you did on your last point, but I remember they were back-to-back, and then I'm just laying on the ground having, having <laughs> my heart attack. 
And this is, this is why I think this is when we were experimenting with me and Eddie playing doubles, and that's why. <laughs> that only that lasted a very short period of time. <laughs> we had a few matches. <laughs> it just didn't work. <laughs> I think that was our only. I think that was our only conference win that year. Oh. That was a hell of a win, though. At the time, we were 500 there. Let's just let's just leave it there. (laughs) All right, we'll go to what's this? Oh three, oh four. Another amazing match. Oh, this is Illinois Chicago. Remember that referee? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. If you didn't call out the score, he gave you a point penalty. (laughs) 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 Never seen a guy like this before, or never since. Uh, and I think we were down. I think we were down three zero here, weren't we? Yes, we were yeah, down three zero and had to win four three setters. And wow, I just remember how crazy that match was. I, yeah. I remember that the one, three, and five guys were on one side of the building, and then you had to walk <laughs> through the court curtains to see two, four, and six. That's right. And I, go. I can remember this clearly because Tom, you get you were pretty angry with me at the end of this match. I mean, you ended up being the clincher seven, six, and a third. But I disappeared on you and Richie for a while because I thought Richie was angry at me. <laughs> I don't know if I got on his case or something because he dropped the first set. And uh, so he started winning when I wasn't on his side of the court. So I'm like, I'm going to go to the other side and help these guys out, Otto and Means and, and, uh, and Eduardo. And I came back, and, and Richie's just cruising, so I stayed away from him. <laughs> he had to go to 7-6 in the third there, and then Tom went to 7-6 in the third. And, uh, yeah, that was probably one of the most unbelievable matches I've ever seen. Yeah, yeah, I, remember that match, I remember that match yeah. really well. That was in Chicago, in my hometown. I, play, I grew up playing junior tennis at Hinsdale Racquet Club. My grandparents were there. I, I mean, that's like, <laughs> that's like me, my, one of my best memories from – my Creighton tennis years. That was an amazing match. I remember when we went to Chipotle afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> we upgraded from Subway. We upgraded from Subway because we won. <laughs> hey, you guys <laughs> earned it. <laughs> that was a reward. You win <laughs> Chipotle. <laughs> oh, man. Let's see. That's, that's another win over Evansville. Yeah. Couple of long three setters there. Not quite like the year before. This was our spring break trip that we went to Indianapolis on. Played three good matches, won three really close matches. Another four three. Must have been Richie, uh, really long on there. I guess that wasn't the clincher. We must have been done. You just had to finish. Yeah. Looks Look at like that Satan Nicholas, seven three. <laughs> <laughs> that was before conference start- matches started. Yeah, we're probably about seven and fourteen for the year or something. <laughs> Oral Roberts, Eduardo clinching match. Nice. 20 oh, minute yeah, rain nice. delay. I remember that in St. Louis. <laughs> made, the, made the drive home really, real, uh, a lot, lot easier. But I remember Eduardo just uh, had some interesting matches. Look at that. We're up to nine and four, Vinny. <laughs> nine and four, yeah. <laughs> My sister yeah. would have been in that match in Tulsa. She went to Oral Roberts. That's right. Didn't we stay at your sister's at uh, during this this match? Me and you. Yeah. I think me and you might stay down there or something. I think so. Yeah, for a few days. I remember that. No, that was that was at the ITAs. Okay. Yeah. Mm. That was at Tulsa and the ITAs, right? Yeah. That's this is, we we were actually in St. Louis for this match. All uh, right. <laughs> This was Evansville's final match before they dropped men's tennis. So they dropped men's tennis in 04. Poor old Evansville. They're featuring a lot here. Number eight versus, <laughs> number, eight versus number nine. <laughs> yeah. Looks like number nine is quite a bit below. All right, where are we now? This is 
Oh, this is our senior year here for Richie and I. Big win over UMKC. Miller and Craney, there we go, 9-7. Nice. I remember Justin Denny, great mm -hmm. guy, real, real steady player, could not hit a backhand volley. <laughs> <laughs> And I can't believe you put, him, him, believe you put him at number two there. Yeah, but we, we would do the eye formation every time on the ad side, so he would never have to the backhand ball. <laughs> <laughs> he, was, he was just so, like, laconic in his ground strokes and everything, but solid. But, yeah, couldn't yeah, he ball. Yeah, he could grind forever to, on the singles court. <laughs> yeah, he was from Chicago like me. We grew up playing juniors together. <laughs> I, I got to get him on one of these, too. I think I've lost touch with him though. I don't know if I have any contact information. There's Duda. Vinny and Ross Allen. <laughs> is, is Nikita Dudar still alive? That's yeah. a great question. Yeah. <laughs> I spoke to him recently. I went to the, the World Cup in Russia and I was trying to get a hold of him. Um, he invited me to go to his house, or, but uh, never ended up meeting him. But uh, yeah, apparently he's all right. Doing all right? Good. Good. He has a monkey and a child. <laughs> Why? Why? <laughs> he has a pet monkey. That is not surprising at all. No, no, it really isn't. We one thing, out one thing for time. sure is that guys like him will always find me and come to play for Creighton. <laughs> <laughs> That's a guarantee. <laughs> Uh, I probably shouldn't even show. That's a loss. Why am I showing that one? <sighs> Means Eckert got a victory there, though. Good job, guys. <laughs> Let's see, 06, 07. Got a couple more here. First match of the year in Northern Colorado. Some close doubles matches. When is the following year? Yeah, this is uh. 0607, right? So it's only a few of you guys left. Dude, all right. Chris Miller, after all those M MIPs moving up to number four. <laughs> That's <laughs> right. Climbing the ladder. 1701 more here. There's a 4 3 over Grinnell of all, all teams. I don't know if we played them in a long time. Boy, not a lot of highlights from my era. <laughs> <laughs> we needed we needed you here though, Chris. Had a good one there. Oh seven, oh eight. This could have been a rough year. <laughs> what? Well, I know for Coe College in Cedar Rapids. Oh, James McAvoy. Forgot about him. <laughs> that, that's what I'm telling you. Guys like that will find me. <laughs> We got to get him on one of these calls too. Him and Luby. He's getting married too next year. James is. Yeah. <laughs> Incredible. <laughs> <laughs> no comment. <laughs> so we avenged an 07 defeat from the year before. Way to step up, boys. All right. We won a conference match the last year I was there. <coughs> I, don't know, I don't know how that didn't make our highlight run here. But... <laughs> Maybe it's too easy of a match. Yeah. Who was it again? <laughs> Bradley? Uh, yeah, I think so. I think yeah. that's easy. All right. Done. We're done sharing. <laughs> so uh, who do you guys all keep in touch with? Guys and girls from your era. Oh, just really Facebook and Instagram, you know, liking pages and giving the smile sort of thing. <laughs> <laughs> giving the smile. Yeah, I don't think the guys are quite as good at staying in touch as the girls. I, I definitely, you know, know more about Shannon and Katie through Kim than and these guys. That's why I'm trying to reach back out and reconnect. It's good to see everybody and get to talk mm -hmm. to them again. Yeah, for sure. I, I sent a message to Richie after the Chiefs won the Super Bowl. And then, I know that was the first time I heard from Vinny in a while, and, and of course I had to be one. The yeah. before, and the message before was about eight years ago, so I'm like, oh shit, that's that's not good. 
It's all it's all worth it to hear Eddie's Australian accent. I have to say, that's <laughs> yeah, with me. That's that's different for sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, better I, than Benny's. <laughs> <laughs> funny because because here people tell me that i have an american accent and when i go to the u.s they tell me i got an aussie accent and so i'm just i don't know i'm, I'm what, all what do they think about you when you go back to brazil <laughs> <laughs> yeah an yeah, accent Vinny, when you go back Vin to brazil yeah cool. Vinny and i were saying we can't believe you don't live in your city sao paulo my yeah. city sao paulo, my city, sao paulo. <laughs> <laughs> Are you, have you guys ever been here in Australia? Yeah, I've been. Yeah, I have. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are missing out. It's pretty good. Um, yeah. It's a great place. To live. So um, what's, are you guys on any kind of lockdown there in Australia? Um, no. I no. think it's a little bit more tranquil. Uh, Sydney, it's it's been a rough lockdown for for a month. I think they've just closed <laughs> everything. Um, you know, fine is just for going out and sitting on the bench, um, you know, going for a walk, um, that sort of thing. Yeah, some guys got locked up in jail for, you know, doing the wrong thing. Um, but I, I suppose it paid off because um, Australia is not <laughs> Pardon? Did you say some guys <laughs> got locked up? <laughs> I've got my wife looking after me now. I'm all right. <laughs> He's a family man now, Tom. He's got to keep it on the string now. It happens to everybody, doesn't it? Yeah. Well, almost everybody. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> but I think I think we should be out of the you know flattening the curve pretty soon. They're going to reopen the, everything. I'm not sure about Perth in Western Australia though. Yeah, we've been pretty lucky actually because we've had. Um, about zero, well, I think zero cases for the last probably two weeks. So, oh, that's pretty good. Yeah. So I think most of it was all cruise ships in in Sydney that they let off a bunch of people in the cruise. Ships, you know? Yeah, that's right. We got hit up hard. But um, probably good being being so isolated from the rest of the world in Australia that we've we've been pretty pretty lucky compared to no. Europe and US. Cool. The U.S. is, uh, <clears throat> yeah, I've been following the U.S. is it's going pretty crazy, isn't it? Jeez. How, 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 you, how is it for you guys over there? Kind of depends on where you are. How about you, Tom? San yeah, San Diego. Diego, San Diego we're, we, so about two months ago, the governor shut everything down. Everything stayed, everything stayed at home. They canceled school, um, all non-essential businesses. Uh, and luckily that seems to have really helped because we were prepared at my hospital for a huge surge of cases, and we we're seeing the, we're seeing COVID patients coming in, uh, but they're more of a trickle than a big, uh, overwhelming surge that, you know, everyone was worried about. So, the only issue is just how do we, you know, how do we come out of this because you know we don't have any vaccine, and so once we start opening up, we're gonna probably have you know another surge. That's what everyone's concerned about now. So we don't, you know, know when we're gonna get back to school and people are gonna get back to 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 work those kind of things. But fortunately for me, I've, you know, been able to, you know, I'm on the front line a little bit. I've been, had good protective equipment and not having to see an overwhelming number of cases. So it's been okay. Okay. How about you, Joe? Yeah, it's, uh, I mean, here they just, I mean, our kids are out of school. So, and they've been out of school since, I don't know, how long have they been out of school? March. Mar yeah. March 14th. Yeah. So pretty, I guess, <laughs> pretty early on they our governor said schools are closed um and then they just started opening up at least in sioux falls restaurants and bars but kind of like limited limited patronage and i don't know it's yeah i mean we didn't have like a full lockdown though where you had to stay home um but i mean yeah pretty much all restaurants and bars and stuff like that were closed except for essential businesses so okay about you, Chris? Yes, same. Um, I mean, very similar to what you guys are saying. I, I think, I mean, from a work perspective, our, our headquarters is technically New York, and the CEO wants everyone to go back at the same time. So they're telling us, even though that phase one, phase two is going to happen here in Charlotte, um, our office likely won't go back to the office until like January. Um, They'll be working from home through the end of the year, which is crazy. But Wow. 
Mm -hmm. Now you, Richie, <laughs> is your golf game taking a hit? Um, <laughs> you know, it's actually uh, they they open that up now, so people can get out on the course and kind of a lot of some people are mad within in the city because you know the parks were closed down for a while, but the golf courses kind of remained open. So good for me, I guess, but not good for the little kiddos, which I feel kind of bad for. But uh, kind of along the similar lines as everyone else around the states, uh, you know, a lot of essential businesses were closed in Omaha. Schools closed down. Um, not a lot of movement, traffic around the city or anything like that. Um, but yeah, now things are starting to slowly open up again, and we'll kind of just see what happens if things get worse. And, you know, we're trying to get we're seeing some more cases kind of trickle into the city, mainly due to um, the outside counties and the meatpacking plants kind of thing. So we're hoping things don't get worse, but we're kind of preparing for that just in case. Okay. Well, so what, uh, any, any uh, final, I guess, memories of Creighton University, Creighton Tennis, before I, before I uh, push the stop button on the recording? Yeah, probably. Best to hit the stop button before we share more. <laughs> you guys, Tom, do you guys still play any of our old rivals now that you're not in the Missouri Valley? Yeah, we tried. We, I mean, Drake's so close to us. Um, who else? We, I mean, Wichita State, we've been playing them most of the time. So those are, those are, the, two, those those, are the two big ones I think about, yeah. And I think those are the only two teams left in the Missouri Valley Conference with men's tennis. Is I that think, right? Yeah, Southern Illinois dropped, Evansville, Northern Iowa. Bradley doesn't have men's tennis anymore. Um, Missouri wow. State hasn't had men's tennis for a while. Yeah, it's kind of sad, but those those are the two teams. I think those are the only two teams left from the old Missouri Valley Conference for men's tennis. So there isn't a Missouri Valley men's tennis conference anymore. Wow. Who do, what are they playing? Like as an independent? They play. Uh, well, Wichita State joined. I can't remember. It's a conference that stretches towards the East Coast. Um, Drake is in the Summit League now. Um, so. You know, they got to travel up to North Dakota they, and Omaha, University of Nebraska, Omaha. So they're in the yeah. same conference now. But yeah, it's interesting. We try to play a lot of the same teams that are regional. Uh, Did you ever take... recruit any more Australians or Brazilians? Probably <laughs> never. <laughs> <laughs> we ruin that for everyone. <laughs> I, I'm going to share memories. So that you guys remember? Is closed. <laughs> So I um, remember we got a flat tire in the van. I think we were driving across Iowa. It's Easter. Uh, what's that? Easter. Yeah, Easter. And so Ed, Eddie like <laughs> puts this like shirt off or something. He's <laughs> waving to the car to try and get someone to stop. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like the, and, and a police guy stopped and helped us fix the tire. But I just remember. <laughs> uh, that was, uh, I, I, yeah, I remember that too. I think we're coming back. It was either Evansville or. Well, it had to it had to have been Evansville or Indiana State because we're cruising on a long trip, long trip back on Easter mean, Sunday. Yep, a lot of time in the van. That, that, that uh, you're talking about the beer fat tire that Eddie used to call flat tire. <laughs> <laughs> many uh, one of Eddie's were, many mix up. That's right. There were a few. <laughs> I like my favorite was the caffeine free. One time he came in, he said, "Look, I got this caffeine for free." <laughs> <laughs> I had to explain what that what caffeine free meant. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, did any of you guys get to go on an actual uh, spring break flight, like for a tennis trip? I see Tom. You guys go on a flight now every year, and That's before right. you, I was there, zero flight. Yeah, my friend Richie and I got to go to. Florida and uh, San Francisco before the spring break trips got canceled besides our Indianapolis and Nashville, which I'm not sure that uh, those yeah. technically count. We got we to go to going. Orlando after you left, Chris. So I, I was the only one with the, <laughs> the yeah. Chris Miller years, you were, you yeah. You were right in the lean, the lean Chris Miller years, yeah. <laughs> San Francisco, which was a good trip. Yeah, that, that was, was really fun. One. Oh man! So I gotta gotta get Gene because I with Vinny and Eduardo on, I'll, I'll need something a little stronger than a Coke. I think. <laughs> <laughs> it's only there she is. <laughs> All right. Uh, well, thanks, guys. This has been fun. Stay on after I hit this pause button. But I uh, appreciate appreciate you guys coming on. It was uh, 
interesting having you on the team. <laughs> we had some great moments, and uh, I appreciate you guys coming on. It's it's been fun. Thanks, Tom. Thanks, Thanks Tom. Tom. Thanks, yep, Tom. Thanks.